everyone and um, it's me again <laughs> I'm sorry I'm making so many videos about this Epson printer having said that I wasn't going to jump on the bandwagon of making videos about the Epson printer after my very first one got so many views but the thing is I started something a little bit because I gave you my review on it with regards to the roller marks and I'm just now making sure well, there's a lot of people responding saying how they've been looking into the printer and it was interesting to know about the roller marks and perhaps maybe be changing their mind, etc. and so forth. This printer, the print quality is fantastic. I need to say that. I am so happy with what it does for my art prints. I cannot fault that at all. And if I had some at hand, I would literally show you them. But I don't. Or do I? Yes, here we are. So... These are the ones, my new location ones I've been experimenting. I mean, look at that. Look at the quality of that print. You know, I have no problems. In fact, if I can just perhaps change it, I don't know how to from there. Sun. Look, the quality of the actual print is fantastic. And I can't fault it. The colours are great. I mean, look. I mean, that is a picture I drew. That's not a photograph, even though it does look like one. But look at the colour. The print quality is fantastic. I have no issues with that. But I have obviously had problems with these roller marks. And so because I seem to start something, I, I'm sort of keeping everyone updated as I go. Because if I can find a, a, a solution to it, or if in fact it just ends up I've got a duff model, then I need to, I feel like I need to make you aware of that. Because otherwise I've, it's all, I can't just suggest it's got a problem with printing on thicker card and just leave it at there leave it at that if in fact is my it's my printer that's duff or there is a solution to be had i hope that makes sense i'm sure you know what i'm trying to say so anyway this video is i'm making it because i've had two people comment uh, they're suggesting that there is an option to change the settings for thick paper now i did look for a setting saying thick paper because that just came natural you just would wouldn't you if you're going to use a thick card and you're having problems you'd look for the the option for thick card and i couldn't i didn't see it but apparently it's there you just have to look a little bit harder for it so i'm going to try it out and i'm going to show you where it is and we're going to try it out on the same paper this is the paper that had the roller marks in the last video I've also got some of this, which is uh, a 280, and I've also got the 300. So we've got three totally different papers or slash cards here to try out, because obviously some people have suggested trying a different paper type, because it could just be that the paper type is sensitive, which I'm more than happy to do, because I don't want to report that a printer's not so good at something, if in fact it is, and it's the paper that's the problem. Anyway, I've got three different sorts here. So we're going to look at finding this thick paper setting and try another print um we'll do the same one as we did before just to keep everything normal and the same and we'll see if there's a solution to be had see if it resolves the problem right so i'm going to set up some paper and it comes up with select the size and type of the loaded paper so if i select the size it gives me all the options here and paper type, it gives you the different types of paper that you're going to use. And nowhere here does it say, it's got thin paper, but it doesn't actually say thick paper or card. So it's got envelope. So I've looked here and just seen that there's no thick paper option and just left it like that. So prevent printer errors by selecting the correct type of paper. So as far as I was aware, I've done that, but they're saying that if you go to printer settings select settings printer settings here and then ah so there is a thick paper so let's turn that on then we now have found a thick paper setting so we've selected that that's on so let's try and print something and see if that's made a difference right so i selected i think it was this, i think it was the gonk we did wasn't it and then I've selected the setting as being just standard for now because I don't want to make it higher, I don't want to waste ink. And I've sent it to the printer. So we're printing through the rear paper feeder again. Right, so let's see if this makes a difference. And if it does, this is on the 260 GSM. If it works, we'll try the 280. And then if that works, we'll try the 300. 
This particular paper that's printing now I wouldn't actually use for my cards because the 260 GSM I don't think is thick enough. But it still has come out with these roller marks. So I'll show you quick. Right, can you see? Do you see the roller marks still there? Even with the thick paper selected, I've still got roller marks. I'm going to try the 280 just because it's a different type of paper um, and just see if it's that particular paper that's actually the issue. Um, and then I'll try the 360 just to see what we get for all three. Right, so let's finish paint printing. And to be fair, there aren't any roller marks on that one. Right, so I know I've got the bright window light, but there are no roller marks. That's come out absolutely fine, that one. So that's 280 GSM. So let's try, yet again, a different type of paper. This is 300 GSM, which I used to get roller marks on. So let's try this that way around and see if this one works. Now, like I said, I used to get roller marks on this, this 300 GSM for sure. So this one, I've always had roller marks, still do. This one, which is 20 GSM and still the same thickness. Isn't that bizarre? But it's a heavier weight cardstock, but it's the same thickness. It's still one millimeter. In fact, it's less than a millimetre. It's not even a millimetre. And nor is that, to be fair. I obviously measured that not looking properly. But anyway, no roller marks at all on that. So that's progress. That's good. So, yes! There aren't any roller marks on this one. Let me show you. I say there's no roller marks. If I'm doing this right in front of this window, everything looks absolutely fine. And then I just turn, which is why I'm now checking this one again. I turned it like this and there are, in fact, bloody roller marks. So I've just checked this one. Oh, no, that's the original. This is the one that's good. So the 280 GSM has definitely printed out fine. The card stop. Right, however. so I've put circles around and if I can catch the light correctly. There. There's the roller mark, which is a shame because on first glance in the with like literally like that, you can't see anything. But they are, the roller marks are definitely there. So so the only one that's changed is this 280, which has come out fine. But I you wouldn't use it as for a greeting card. It's too flimsy. Um, so that's a bit disappointing. I really thought the 300 GSM had come out OK. Just want to go back to these comments because some the other comment I had was to say, Go to the printer preferences and then the maintenance tab, but then extended settings. Well, there's no extended settings on there. So I'm thinking that means on the computer itself, there's printer preferences. There's maintenance, extended settings. Right, so what did she say she did? There is a box to check for thicker paper and envelopes. So is there a box there? Thick paper and envelopes, right. Use this option only when printing on thick paper or when your previous printouts have been smeared. Printing may take longer than normal. Right, so I'm, I've am selected that. Run you through exactly what I've done there. Printer preferences here, so I've clicked that. Then this box maintenance, I've clicked that. And then this extended settings box here, I've clicked that. And then right here, it says, can you see that if I wiggle my, there, Thick paper and envelopes. So let's click that and it says that only use this option when printing on thick paper. So I'd have to remember to unclick that when I do my art prints. So let's click OK, OK and OK. So let's now print again. To print again and we'll do it on the card, the 300 GSM, because ideally this is the one I really want to work. So just got to make sure it's the right side, which is that side. And let's just see if that now makes a difference. Oh, it's come up saying that thick paper and envelopes checkbox is selected. Select this box only when your printouts are rubbed. Cancel the printer or clear the checkbox if your printouts have no rubbings. Printing with this feature may take longer for, than for normal. Well, I'm going to try it out. I'm just going to press print and see what happens. It's not that much slower than what it was originally. I don't know if you can hear it. 
That's good. I assumed it meant it was going to take forever. Well, this would be really, really good if it works. I would never really need to go above 300 GSM anyway. So it would just mean that literally everything I need to print can be then done from the rear paper feeder and I wouldn't have to turn it anymore anyway. No, there is still a mark. So I don't think the line is as bad as it was. And certainly down this end of the, the one down the one down the bottom here is much harder to see. And to be fair, you do need to really look for it now and you have to get the light right. So it's not as obvious as it was, but it's definitely still there. A little bit frustrating. It's definitely better down the bottom for sure. Um, where's the original one? I really do need to look for it down this bottom one. The top one is still there, but it's still not as bad as it originally was, which is, I mean, that's good. But you, you couldn't sell a card like that. Right. Well, I will just try this one again, just to see if it's made a difference with the 260 GSM. And if this doesn't work, I'm also getting to the stage where I am thinking it might be worth getting in touch with Epson itself. Although what put me off was that I'm not the only one to have experienced this issue. So I'm kind of assuming. That it's not just my printer. Yeah, no, the roller marks are still there. It there and there and there. Um but yes, this paper here is obviously just no good for this printer at all. It's, someone has said that sometimes paper can be a bit sensitive, so I think that might be the case with that one. The 280 GSM has come out really nicely. This is paper that I got in Lidl's and it's good paper. Um, it's waterproof, light fast, high gloss. And that has come out really well. Um, but it's 280 GSM and like I say, it's just, if I was to fold that over to a card, obviously I haven't got a scoring tool or anything to hand here, but I'm just gonna show you. But, well, I suppose it does sort of work as a card, but it just feels a bit, well, I don't know. It was a bit flimsy to me as a card. That is a bit flimsy, um, but there are no roller marks on it. So that's really interesting. I think we can establish the 260 paper is probably just sensitive or whatever someone else suggested. But unfortunately, the 300 GSM still isn't going through the back of the printer. That kind of, I suppose, has helped a little bit that we have we have managed to have a bit of success. The, definitely the 300 GSM isn't as badly marked as it once was. So something's definitely helped there, but it's not still hasn't resolved the issue in terms of me being able to print on the 300 GSM and sell it as a greetings card. So anyway, thanks again for the comments, both of you. I do really appreciate that. Um, and I think next step is either contact Epson or perhaps try a different paper company just to see if I can find a 300 GSM that actually will go through it. Because it just would make such a big difference if I can get the 300 GSM through the back of that printer, then everything I need to do can be done from there, which would just be I'd just be very, very happy, happy if that's the case, because my printer just stays like that. It's brilliant because the size, I love the size of it. I love the print quality of it. I just want to get 300 GSM through the back and that would just make this printer the best investment ever. So I am going to persevere a little bit more and, you know, I'll get results of some sort and I will keep keeping you posted. So yes, sorry it was another Epson video, but hopefully this is all helping somebody out there. Um, I just really didn't want someone not buying a printer if there is actually a solution to be found. So I'm willing to try all these solutions that people are suggesting. So thank you very much. And um, I will see you in the next video, which probably won't be an Epson printer unless <laughs> by some amazing piece of brilliance we've managed to resolve the issue. So I've done my research and anything 300 GSM and over, according to the Epson spiel that I found, 
has to go through the rear paper feeder slot. So that's why the 300 GSM is coming out with the roller mark. So that's fair enough. It doesn't really explain that why the 260 comes out of roller marks other than that, I think, is just the paper itself. I don't think that's an actual issue with the printer because now we've shown that the 280 GSM that I did came through fine. I just wanted to get on here and to say once and for all that as far as I'm concerned now, having done all these different <laughs> trials, etc., the 260 GSM that came through with the roller marks, I now believe that is just an issue with that particular paper. It's possibly just too sensitive. We put I put through the 280, it was a different brand of paper and that came through fine. The 300 GSM came out with the roller marks, but I have now since discovered that 300 GSM needs to go through the back of the printer, through the slot. So I think after all this deliberation, etc., <clears throat> that's my my findings. Um, so hopefully for any of you that are thinking of buying this printer, I would uh, based on the print quality alone, I would say it's it's good. It is really good. The prints. I mean, I'm just sat here printing now and I've printed all of these and they're just fantastic. Uh, the, the actual quality is fantastic. The colours are fantastic. And I, I couldn't be happier as far as that goes. I don't have any issues. They just print. I press print. They come out. Jobs are good. In. So if that's what you're after, then the printer, I would recommend that the printer. I, I wouldn't have any problems recommending it to a friend then. Um, as far as the greeting cards go, if that is your business, then obviously that's up to you. You would have to force, you know, for a decent size, decent thickness of cards. I mean, People that actually manufacture a greeting cards, because I, I went and had a look at a greeting card uh, printing business today, not, at, you know, online. And they suggest printing on 350 GSM and up. So if you are a greeting card business, just know that you would be using the rear paper feeder slot. And if you've got loads of room and you can leave your printer set up as such, well, then again, it shouldn't be a problem other than you would have to feed them through separately, obviously. And you've got the 20 millimeter gap, which I showed in my other video uh, to take into, to, into account. For me personally, if my business was solely greeting cards, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't now go and buy this printer. Um, so, yeah, so it's all just all my own opinions based on the experience I've had. Um, and, you know, hopefully I haven't overcomplicated all of this for you. I just was documenting it as I went. And that is now my conclusions. And certainly from my art print business, printing my own art prints of my own artwork, I'm very happy with the printer. And on that basis alone, I would buy it again. <laughs> um, so, yeah, hope I hope that once and for all, we can draw a line under the Epson ET8550 printer. And um, yes, yeah, obviously do your own research on it. And before you make your decision, if you're thinking of buying one. So, yes, that's it. Thank you for joining me on all of those videos. Um, I was never intending to make them in the first place, but I just felt like I needed to try and get to the bottom of it to clarify it um, so that no one made a decision based on just the one video I'd made about the roller marks. <sighs> I think I've done that. <laughs> right, so all take care and see you in the next one, even though hopefully there will be no more videos on the actual Epson printer, because that is seriously not what this channel is about. <laughs> It'll be back to my business as usual. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye.